CNN went to Bangkok to interview a jailed hooker who says that she's got proof that Trump colluded with Russia. And honestly, I feel dumber for having even said that sentence, but it's a thing that actually happened. Everybody, welcome back to MRC TV. I'm Brittany Hughes. This is Reality Check, and CNN just went all the way to Bangkok this week to meet with 21-year-old Anastasia Vashikevich, an escort and self-described sex coach who's been thrown in a Thai jail for um, working without a license. Now she claims to have proof that Trump colluded with Russia to rig the 2016 election, and that is all that it took for CNN. Here's the whole dumb story in a nutshell. Vashikevich claims that she used to be the mistress of Russian aluminum billionaire Oleg Deripaska, who had business ties with Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort. And you don't care, right? Of course not. Why would you? Well, now, to keep from being booted back to Russia upon her release, Vashikevich is claiming that she's got dirt on Trump and this whole Russian election meddling theory which apparently has fallen so far from reality that actual news reporters are relying on unproven hearsay from hookers in Thai prisons to make that narrative work. Now, CNN is not the only media outlet to report this story, of course, but they are the ones who's just sent a reporter to interview this woman in jail in Thailand. Here's part of their actual honest-to-God report that somehow made it on the air. She describes herself as a seductress, a relentlessly self-promoting 21-year-old named Anastasia Vashukevich with the social media stage name Nastya Ribka, this Belarus-born woman claims to have evidence of Russian meddling in the U.S. election. I just came out of this detention center where I spoke with Anastasia Vashukevich. It was loud and hot and chaotic, and talking through the bars, she says that she witnessed meetings between the Russian billionaire Oleg Deripaska and at least three Americans who she refused to name. She claims they discussed plans to affect the U.S. elections, but she wouldn't give any further information because she fears she could be deported back to Russia. Now, Deripaska, on the other hand, is claiming that this woman was never his mistress, but CNN says that she may be the one who's telling the truth because of this one photo that she took with the guy this one time. Of course, Vashikevich has not provided a single lick of proof for her claims, and now she's saying that she's only going to cough up this supposed evidence if the U.S. grants her asylum to keep her from being deported back to Russia. Now, keep in mind that the entire U.S. media has been digging for dirt on the Trump-Russia conspiracy theory for more than a year and found nothing. The FBI hasn't released anything. Robert Mueller's been looking for a year, and so far, nothing. The Department of Homeland Security has said that while Russia may have been behind a few Facebook ads during the campaign, there is no proof that they changed a single vote in the election. But now, after more than a year of this crap, we're supposed to believe that some desperate hooker sitting in a Thai prison has got a video hidden in her sock drawer in Moscow that's gonna blow the whole thing wide open. If only we would help her get out of jail. Right. Now, even CNN seems to realize on some small level that this whole thing is reaching brand new levels of insane. But it's cool because the network says that this chick once wrote a book. Vashukevich wrote about the meeting using altered names in this book. And there you have it. We have gone so far down this rabbit hole that CNN is literally interviewing sex workers in jails in Thailand to prove that Trump colluded with Russia. And that's your Reality Check America. Subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.